to send this to uh, before too long. Um, this was great. Oh, no, don't in the meeting. There we go. It's great to go through your thing. Um, let me just see here. I loved the choice, and I think we talked about this before. And it's, I'm fe I'm feeling some deja vu, but this was this was what you had me read for last week, right? It was the or this this most recent session was seeing it from Matthias's Matthias's yeah. Matthias point of view. This was fresh. I really liked this. I thought this was kind of a neat way to go through it. I won't go through. There's a there's several things just that have to do with spelling and 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 wordage and and dispraising and stuff. I'm I'm less interested in in that. I generally almost nothing to critique in terms of you know story i thought as as a stab at what this would sort of speak yeah, we're, what not, this we're not doing a full like overhaul here it's most yeah yeah changes you know, we're, we're, we're beefing out ramona's intro and we're changing i think julius's quote unquote death so that mm -hmm. um, you know yeah, I thought it was a really, really uh, certainly. I haven't seen it from from his point of view, so I love this. The thing that was like on a, on on sort of a high level thing that was really fun to read was getting to this point. Like I'm like, okay, what is the only thing that bothers me potentially about boss battles? But you've you've you haven't done this. You've you've avoided this. Is like the the it, like a Marvel comic. I was reading. I forget which Marvel comic I was reading recently. Oh yeah, it was the Avengers when like uh, Avenger Prime, you know, Loki as Avenger Prime sort of steps into the scene and it's just one boss battle after another, but it doesn't, it's like, it's, it never ends. It's like, okay, what is it that can take this guy down? Cause it looks like, it looks like he's in, you know, indestructible. And I love the fact that I'm assuming by the time we get to there, like, like we get to, where's the point? Blue ink. Yeah. So I'm like, Okay, Matthias is obviously a bad motherfucker. Obviously, you can't effectively. Oh, it would take like a superhuman something to get rid of this. Julius is clearly that guy, it seems. And so it's like, okay, good, good, good. But then there's the fact that he's like, okay, he's being taken out. But then this whole idea, this fresh, warm blood gushed into his mouth. Like the fact that it can't, that he, it, he, that there is a, there is a way to take him down. But he can re sort of he can he can come back. So he's not indestructible in the truest sense. But uh, if he if he gets that you know if Popeye gets his spinach so to it's speak, it's a grindstone. You got to work at it for a while. Yeah. Or you, yeah, or you just got to say fuck it and blow him up with 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 devices. Yeah, and and really really strong, seemingly invulnerable um creatures or beings in a boss battle especially that goes on for any length can can go from exciting to boring really fast and you you avoided that in my mind you avoided that this was really cool because i was like okay what's going to do it because then we get to the end so the dramatic question especially especially after like he he basically is like a like a vampire who nearly died and then fell into a big bucket of blood Right. And then it's like, yum, 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 yum. And it's like, OK. And then dinner time and just goes to town. So I'm like, whoa, what is this thing? So the dramatic hook for me at the end is, oh, my God, I'm assuming Julius is the biggest, baddest thing. I'm playing dumb and pretending I don't know anything about well, part it. Part of it, I really I really try to make this point, And I want to tell you, I want you, I want you to tell me if I didn't. I really wanted to make the point that Julius was very much focusing on on Matthias's internal organs, on things that would take more to for him to regenerate from um, yeah. joints, internal organs, brain matter, that sort of thing. Anything to force him to, you know, focus more on regenerating than fighting. Yeah, it's visceral to the point of, like, um, the most gory chapter in the book. Um, oh, my God. Not Pulp Fiction, but American Psycho. There's 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 a couple of chapters in that that are so viscerally gory that it becomes almost hard to to read. You're not doing that. This is almost like a like a surgeon's guide to how to you know surgically dismantle like a, like a really like unconquerable in seemingly invulnerable being. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's Julius's mo. Is he's not necessarily as strong as everyone else, but mm -hmm. he takes you down with the precision of a surgeon. He, he Every single yeah. attack will hit something vital. Every si single weakness is exploited. Every single ability has been countered. Well, and that's what makes the ending so so interesting to me. Like it could have it a scene a scene like this could have could have been meh, but you avoid that because you go into such depth of detail. You're obviously you're, you're obviously not just lazily. Like I think a lot of writers just lazily like. 
boom, crash, punch, hit, punch, nothing's taking this guy down, boom. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, inexplicably, it goes down. And then it, you know, gets a burst of energy, oh, yeah, the, or whatever the cause. There, there, are, there are some creatures like that that, that that can just straight up take damage right up until their last minute. At which point, they basically just drop dead. Yeah, but and I like this because they're specifically like that. Yeah, I think that what you did here was really, I thought it was kind of clever because if he goes to this much work, and you as the writer have gone into this much detail to show that he should absolutely in any normal, you know, law of physics, science, you know, science-based world, he should be dead. But the fact that he's able to have this much evisceration, this much dismantlement, this much dismemberment, this much complete annihilation, but then we're immediately shown what it is that can bring him back. Well, now I get it. And remember, he's the lesser variant. Mm. He's about as, he's, Actually, yeah, he's technically he, the only thing the reason he's not completely on the bottom of the totem pole is his intelligence. There you go. Beyond that, he's yeah, basically yeah, yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, higher yeah, variants really... are even harder to kill, and the unseen elders are just fucking monsters. So I'm terrified by this thing being loose on planet Earth. This is this is you've you've made Matthias so f- terrifying, but you've also made Julius. Somebody who knows how to deal with if if again, if there was ever a chance that Matthias could be taken down, it was Julius and he did it, but then we found Popeye found his spinach. So it's really uh even that's what kept it from just being sort of like a like some boss boss, I'm just keep calling it boss battle, but when it, like these huge, like epic, you know, monolithic battles between, you know, basically titans or whatever you're gonna call it in a in a, in a non-literal sense can get super boring if it's just back and forth, back and forth. But because of the surgical nature of the dismantlement, because of what's happening, um, you know, sort of with, where is it here? Yeah, I mean, the fact that, meanwhile, Watkins is just this red doll sort of in the middle of it all, um, but also actually, in you know, actually doing his best, at, you know, to be involved if you're going to, especially if this is, an, is, you know, sort of part and parcel with the ice cream bit that comes before, however many chapters before. Um, yeah, this is just, you know, and you get the banter going back and forth and plus revealing story information, you know, plus there is actually some information that's being revealed that I thought was also okay. So if I had never read anything, in other words, if you'd never given me anything from the story before, and this was the very first thing that you were in you were giving me even though i would have a million questions about the story context as a standalone scene um that i thought it was just absolutely incredible a few questions along the way that i would just have to do with i wasn't 100 percent clear if, if this you know what was happening very small things more of the stuff at the beginning to do with with phrasing and so on just a few story questions along the way take a peek at them tell me what you think but i mean otherwise I thought it was pretty solid for, for the kind of chapter that it was, so not a lot to critique. Mm-hmm. Okay, That's good. Unfortunately, the next few chapters are going to be a bit weird because I don't think they'll change much, so I'm not sure if we're going to really... <sighs> yeah. You're not sure if there's much to it? You mean, they're not going to change much from what we have looked at before? Yeah. Like, objectively okay. speaking, I'll double check, but... Uh, like give me a week to even see like where like we might just skip right all the way into a later chapter at this point 50 50 i don't know 100 percent. sure no you just let me know and i'll uh and i'll be ready to read whatever you have for me what were you thinking were you thinking next week or are you thinking maybe leaving in a couple of weeks i'd like two weeks so i can yeah i'm still working on my other stuff so sorry about that no that's no problem at all here i'll just make a note of that so i know okay so today it was the 28th, so I'm going to make sure that we get this. So December, if we missed the 18th. No, we missed the 20th. There we go. Uh, so that was the 28th. So the 28th, so we're going to go a couple of weeks. So we're actually going to go the 11th. You want to aim for the 11th, and we'll see if that works. Yeah, the 11th sounds good. Okay, then two weeks after that would be would be Christmas. So I'm assuming that we won't do that. Oh, yeah. Unless, so, uh, unless you unless you want to do like, and we can you can decide next week. We can go the eleventh, and then we can go the eighteenth. So it's the week before Christmas. And then take a couple weeks off. I'll leave it with you. You can tell me then what you'd like to okay. do. I think I think we can just do one. 
I, I'm not even sure if I'll have something ready by then because I'll have to go through everything. Double check. I might end up just saying skip it. Sorry. Ahead of time. Yeah. No problem at all. Okay. Well, I will. I guess I will see you on the 11th and I'll send you these notes here uh, pretty quick. But no, this was solid, man. You're, you are a master of gore. You're in the Stephen King camp of, uh, you're more than the Clive Barker camp yeah. of making me throw up when I read. I love it. Yeah. I'm looking at it. And yeah, I think Vampires in Virginia is basically done at this point. Like I, everything after this is basically just shuffling things around for formatting purposes. So. Yeah. Also, going back and actually doing the edits we talked about earlier, because I still haven't done those. So, needed about a day to that. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'm just going to send this to you here, and that was chapter four that we just looked at, right? Yes, that was the new chapter four. Awesome. Okay, well, I will see you on the 11th, and just send me ahead of time whatever you'd like me to take a look at. No problem. See you, see you on the 11th, Paul. Sounds good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.